Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Ramadan daily video. I'm coming to you on a very gloomy Thursday afternoon. It is 4.58 and guess what just happened? Two hours before breaking my fast, my monthly decides to say hello. <laughs> so I have to go break my fast right now. For those of you who don't know, for those of you who are not Muslim, when a woman is on her period, she does not have to fast, um, or she cannot fast. So, yeah, I won't be fasting for the next week, which will be a little bit of a break. Like, at first I was really bummed out about it, especially since I fasted the entire day, and now I have to break it. <laughs> and it didn't count and I have to remake it, but I think it was a TikTok or something and it was like so beautiful and it like made me reconsider the entire, like why are we even upset if we, anyways, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it made me reconsider it. It was something like a woman is still rewarded for breaking her fast when she gets her period. Like that's a grace from God. And I thought that was just so beautiful. Like we are rewarded for not fasting because we are obeying God. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that such a beautiful way of looking at it? So there is your very TMI beginning to this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. I don't really know what this day will bring, but uh, it's currently 5 p.m. And actually, while I do this, let me just open my blinds real quick because it's so dark in here. Oops. That is much better. Look at that. I literally haven't even been out here the entire day because I've been stuck in my office doing work from literally 9 a.m. in the morning to right now, 9 to 5, exactly. <laughs> This whole thing just reminded me that I got sent, oh, okay, let's put this up a little. I got sent this from a brand recently and I've been meaning to try it because I obviously had to wait until I got my period, but it's this brand called Deloon. It looks like this and they make natural products geared towards a woman's cycle. So this is the cramp aid and then this is the energy flow. This one, I think I was supposed to have before my period. I don't know if I'm supposed to take it now. It says high powered adaptogenic tea to relieve fatigue during your cycle. Um, oh, I guess without caffeine that can make period cramps worse. Oh, okay, so I guess I can have this now. Maybe I'll just have this right now actually. But I get pretty bad period cramps. I don't notice them as much because I take Advil like this second that I think I'm gonna get period cramps. And I just feel like, you know, I'm 26 now. I've been taking Advil every single month during my cycle for over 10 years. Like that can't be the best for me, but I physically cannot go out without, or cannot go on without some sort of cramp relief because they get extremely unbearable. Like I remember when I was in high school and I didn't realize that Advil could actually help with cramps. I would actually go home, like I would have to go home, leave class because it was just that painful. For those of you who do not get period cramps, consider yourself lucky. I don't even get them as bad, so I can only feel for those who like are literally crippled from it. So anyways, what a lovely start to this vlog, right? This isn't sponsored by the way. I just like, they sent it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna try it out. So I'm gonna take the cramp aid and we will see together if this stuff actually works because if it not if it does not, I will be in pain for the rest of the night, which will not be quite great. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. They're like these massive black pills, but it says it's a high potency herbal and nutritional support to relieve mild to moderate period cramps. I don't know if mine are considered mild. I feel like they're probably moderate in comparison to people who get like super bad cramps, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh, it's so interesting to me that whenever, like I finally do get my period, everything about the past week just makes more sense. I gained a ton of water weight the week before my period, probably about like five to seven pounds sometimes. And I know it's water weight because it literally goes away <laughs> the second my period ends. What else happens? I am so fatigued, like I don't realize, I just think it's like from the day or something, but I've noticed myself like sleeping way more this week and like sleeping in. I'm usually not someone who sleeps past like 8.30, even 8 a.m. So I've been waking up at like 9.30 every day this week and like just wanting more sleep. Like it's been so weird. My cravings, oh my God, I've been craving sweets like no tomorrow. I love me some sweets, but like, man, I was craving this week. Um, what else? I felt myself getting a little irritable, just like annoyed at myself for no reason. And then the second I get my period, I'm like, that, that makes a lot of sense. 
that's why you're like that this week. <laughs> so anyways, bismillah. Oh, this smell. They smell like um, vitamins. So anyways, we'll see how this works. And I guess I technically don't really need energy right now. So I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning because I do find myself still fatigued during the week. So thought I would mention that for anyone who is considering a more natural alternative. Like I said, I will let you guys know how I feel. But what happened today? So today I actually had a very exciting morning. I got to present on a panel with the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation, the CBCF, which is an organization that houses all of the black house, house of representatives oh my god I'm totally getting this wrong but basically they have been around for I think since the 70s um, just helping like enrich the lives of black people in America help support the black community and all of that and they held a Google sponsored panel discussion with myself and some amazing other creators, including Tariq, if you guys follow him on YouTube. So that's basically how I spent my day. I spent the rest of the day just doing some content, working on my visa, all of that kind of stuff, which is going quite well, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, right now, I think I might actually go on a walk. It's 5 p.m. as I told you guys. I wanna make sure I get some steps in. I literally have not walked. Like, I've probably taken less than a 1,000 steps today, which is not great. <laughs> so it kind of looks like it's gonna gonna rain out but I'm hoping it doesn't so I think I'm just gonna go on a walk maybe a pretty leisurely long walk like an hour and a half to two hours or something to get some uh, exercise in hey Google what's the weather like right now it's currently 17 degrees and cloudy there today it'll be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of 17 and a low of 13 okay well it doesn't say that it's gonna rain so i think i'm good also little update on my skin it is doing a little bit better i feel like the texture has gone down significantly it's still kind of there as you can see over here but it's much less irritated i just feel like there's my glow is back you know there's a little bit more of a glow so hopefully by the weekend it'll all be gone but anyways what an interesting start to this vlog i hope you guys have been enjoying it if you are new please subscribe to my channel would love for you guys to join i think i might actually connect this vlog with some content tomorrow because i'm honestly not doing much today and uh, yeah i'm gonna go enjoy my walk reminder get your steps in as well. Before I head out, I actually wanted to share this package that I got from Live Tinted. It's their new collaboration with Beauty Blender, which is so freaking dope. I'm actually so proud of Deepika for this. Like she posted like her whole story of how Beauty Blender was one of the first brands she ever worked with. And now she has a collaboration with them with her brand. So they came out with, well, she already had this. This is the Bounce, um, so, oh, sorry, Balance, not Bounce. <laughs> the Balance Hue Stick. It's like a really pretty coral color. This is what it looks like. And then they came out with a little beauty blender, like a little blush to blend out like blush and stuff, specifically for this, which is so, so dope. You can see the Live Tinted logo right over there. So I'm really proud of her. So my friend Tifan actually works for the brand, which is so, so dope. Hey Tifan, if you're watching this. But they sent over some little things, these little like self-care things for Ramadan as well. How sweet. I really need to see what this what this therapy dough is. That just sounds like the best thing ever. Therapy dough. I love the sound of that. It says pinch me. It doesn't smell good. It just smells like clay. Oh, I love that. It's essentially clay, like a pretty looking clay, but I love that. This is like, you know, those like TikTok videos that are just very satisfying. This is like that. Actually, it does smell pretty good. How sweet! I love that. Thank you so much, Tifan and Deepika and the Live Tinted team. Y'all are doing amazing things. I kind of want to apply a bit of balance on right now because like, why not? Is this not the cutest little beauty blender you've ever seen? Okay, let's try this out. I feel like I need a mirror, but you know, we're just gonna do this freestyle. I also just love the hue sticks. And this is such a pretty shade. I'm gonna put a little on my nose too. I definitely need a mirror here because I can't see what I'm doing. I've actually never used the Beauty Blender blusher before. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but it's actually the perfect little shape for blending out blush. Oh my God, that's actually so cute. I put on way too much, but that's okay. Just keep blending. <laughs> this blush, oh my God. How beautiful is that? I'm gonna link this down below so you guys can get it because I feel like it's such a perfect little duo because you 
can just apply it with the little beauty blender. How cute. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go on my walks. Hey guys, little update. I went on my walk. I went for about two hours actually. And if you wanna know my activity levels, I'm literally just obsessed with my Apple Watch, guys. I went for, yeah, two hours. I walked over eight kilometers and 11,500 steps. So very happy with that. It was a really nice leisurely walk. I honestly just love the area that I'm in. I don't even like listen to anything. I literally just listen to the birds chirping in my own mind and just enjoy it. But anyways, I do have an update on the natural cramp medication. And that update is I've given up because it's not helping. It really is not. My cramps are, they're not horrible, but I don't like to feel any bit of a cramp at all. So I'm taking Advil because I cannot. Oh, this isn't even Advil. This is just regular ibuprofen, but I just wanted to give you guys that little update. I was really hoping they would work for me, but I guess I don't really have mild to moderate cramps. They're probably more than that. I just never really feel them because I always am drugged up on my Advil. But yeah, that was my little update. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday, guys. I'm not quite sure when this entire video turned into a video about periods, menstrual cycles, products, all that kind of stuff. But here we are, hashtag period transparency. <laughs> I just feel like I have to talk about this because it is the most it's genuinely the most strange experience I've had with menstrual products. Actually, one of the strangest. Sadly, I've had many. Maybe we'll get into that one day if that's a video you guys are interested in. But since a lot of us are women here, most of us, I just feel like not enough people talk about their periods on the internet. Like, why is it such an embarrassing topic? Why do I feel the need to put a disclaimer before talking about our periods? It's the most natural thing us women go through. Anyways. <laughs> Honey pot, okay? Let's just talk about this real real quick. When my friend Fatuma was staying with me a couple weeks ago, the start of Ramadan, she randomly just mentioned these honey pot uh, pads. And I was like, oh, is that the one that has like the minty feel or whatever? And she was like, yeah. She's like, it's kind of interesting, but I like them. <laughs> So I was like, can I try them? So she gave me a few. I was like, oh, okay, you know, let me let me give this a try today. You know, at first I put it on. So for those of you guys who don't know what Honey Pot is, it's a black owned menstrual company, um, menstrual product company or feminine product company. And um, they make these pads that have like, not scented, but like sensorial experiences. So this one has like a minty feel to it. And I put it on at first. I was like, oh, this doesn't feel like anything. And then a couple minutes pass and I'm like, oh, that's new. <laughs> it feels so weird to talk about. <laughs> but I was literally walking around the house talking to myself like, this is strange. That's suspicious. That's weird. I'm not quite sure if I enjoy it. I considered taking it off. It low-key kind of burns. Like, I mean, this, this can't be unhealthy. So many people talk about it. I have no idea, but this is so strange. Yeah. Um... I wasn't really sure what I was gonna say when I turned on the camera, but I just felt like I had to rant about it for a second. I'm still wearing it, so it's fine, but it's just very warm. It's very warm down there and it feels interesting. But I also feel like it's take, like it's distracting me from the fact that I have cramps. I don't really get cramps the second day. It's usually mainly the first day, but throughout the day of my second day, like they'll kind of pop up whenever. So I feel like it's distracting from that, you know? It's just very interesting. So if any of you guys have tried Honey Pot, let me know in the comments below. It's, and let me know what your experience was because this is truly unlike every, anything I've ever experienced. <laughs> and I still don't know if I like it or not, <laughs> but we're gonna try it out in this video. But anyways, today it is Friday. Jumamu <laughs> Panak. Oh dear God, okay. Um, it's almost 3.30. I actually have a lot of stuff to do. There have been some checks that I've needed to deposit into my account for over a month now. They've just been, been in my car and I just haven't gone to the bank. So I need to finally do that. I need to buy a couple things from the Grove. I might potentially get, like I wanna get like a C, I don't know if it's called like a C stand or like a C side table. Basically, it's just like, it's it's similar to like a little a side table like that for the side of your couch. But I wanna get one for my office. I wanna get one for literally this space right over here. Because I find whenever I'm filming, I need some sort of table in front of me. 
And what I have been doing, which is extremely ghetto, is I've been taking my bar stool, that bar stool over there, and I've been using that as my table. So I think just for functionality state, or case state, uh, sake, sake, look at me in English, I swear I'm educated. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna check the world market and see if they have any. I believe they do, I feel like I've seen them before. If not world market, I don't know where else. I guess I could just order it on Amazon, but I kinda wanna see them in person and low key like have it right now, cause I'm impatient. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. And I also need to go grocery shopping because tomorrow, which you guys will probably see in another vlog, but tomorrow Shecht is hosting a little iftar potluck with a couple of our friends. So I'm really excited for that and I'm gonna be making, I believe I'm gonna be making this recipe that I also saw on TikTok, except I'm gonna kind of like make it my own, but still use similar ingredients. And it's like a chicken, it's like a grilled chicken kebab basically. So I'm gonna make grilled chicken kebabs and also grilled veggie kebabs cause Shecht is vegan. So yeah, I just need to buy ingredients for that, but that will be its whole, you know, you guys know my recipe videos. That'll be a whole recipe video for tomorrow, inshallah. But I do need to buy all the ingredients and kind of like prep for that as well. So that is what I'm gonna do. Pretty great Friday. Oh my God, I didn't even eat anything today. I'm forgetting that like I'm not fasting. I literally have not eaten anything and it's three, it's almost 3.30. Are you guys like me? Like when you're on your period during Ramadan, like you still forget to eat because you think you're fasting. But yeah, that is my Friday plans. Let me show you guys my outfit real quick though. I am re-wearing. <laughs> This from my Fenty video if you guys saw it. This is where I, what I wore towards the end But I actually didn't go anywhere in that video. So here I am today wearing it again It's also kind of gloomy. So that's why I'm wearing like a double sweater situation. So this is from Zara this little tie-dye number is from Nasty gal, it's just like a you know like a top and then I have these pants also. Oh wow I'm wearing double nasty gal today. These are also from nasty gal. They're like little mom jeans very comfortable, and then this belt is from And Other Stories, and I love it. I literally wear it with all my outfits, so. Yeah, and then necklace, relic, the label. Hijab is from Vela Scarves. Why are all the, brand, the hijab brands starts with a V? Vela, Veiled Collection, Volchik, they're all V, interesting. <laughs> and then I'm probably just gonna wear some sandals or sneakers, maybe Air Force ones, I'm not really sure yet, but that is my outfit. I am clearly in a good mood today, if you guys can't tell. I just in a great mood, so yeah. I will see you guys a little later. This is what true laziness looks like. I literally just dumped <laughs> everything in the actual yogurt container. And I'm just gonna take this to go because mama's got stuff to do today. Finished look for today. Put on these shoes from Ralph Lauren to complete the little grandpa chic moment. Time to go. I am so annoyed. This happened last time too. But for whatever reason, the bank was closed. I guess they're doing re renovations or something. I don't know why I came back to this location. This is like my home bank though. So I just like the people here. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go to another one. Bank doesn't want my money. They don't want me to get my money. Okay then, never mind. Apparently all of them are closed today. They close at four. What bank closes at four? That's so annoying. Honestly, it's the one thing that I miss about Toronto. The banks are open till like 6 p.m. And also they are open on the weekends too. Like it's just, you know, but actually I think the Bank of America is open tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to wake up early and go because these checks have been in my car for so long. This one was from, oh my God, February. Oops. And this one was from March. Oh God, hopefully I'm still able to deposit these. I think I am. I think I have like 90 days. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna go to the Grove then and go shopping. because there's music playing in here but one reason why I love World Market is that they have all the international chocolates including all the ones from Canada so there's Mars Bar, Coffee Crisp, Bounty you know I love me some Coffee Crisp and I can never find these anywhere else in the US plus 
they have all the Milka bars, which um, these I used to be obsessed with when I lived in France. <laughs> if any of you were following me back in university, you'd know I was obsessed with the Awake bars. Oh my god, these are so good for like giving you energy. They're basically like caffeinated chocolate and I was obsessed with these. How nostalgic. I am back. Whew, it is warm in here. Anyways, I was successful. I ended up getting the um, hexagon shaped table. It is a little bit smaller than what I initially wanted, but I think, I don't know. I mean, I can always return it if it doesn't end up working out, but I feel like it's going to. I was considering the bigger one, but then I realized it'll really crowd up the space and I don't want that. I want the space to remain like open and airy. Oh my God, it's so hot. I need to turn on the car. But yeah, I got that. I also found a really cute rug that may potentially look cute in the office. I still want to get like a bigger rug for the main space, but I think just for now, I think what I got would look really cute. I got, I guess I could just do this entire haul when I get home, but I got really lucky at World Market. I also did end up buying and eating the coffee crisp, which was delicious and reminded me of home and made me very happy. So happy about that. I also stopped by at Sephora. As you guys saw, I just picked up um, another one of the avocado ceramide recovery serum by Glow Recipe. If you guys watched my Fenty video, you would have seen I was using the little lab sample. I could not for the life of me find the actual bottle. So I just went to Sephora and picked it up and this is what it looks like. This has been really helping with the irritation on my skin lately. That's what it looks like. So I figured I would just pick up the actual bottles so that I do have it. All done with my shopping. I was gonna shop a little bit more, but I turned myself away because I truly don't need anything right now. So right now I'm going to head to the grocery store because I need to pick some things up. I also realized today's Friday, which means most of the kosher stores are closed and hopefully I can still find what I need because I really need to buy chicken thighs, but I'm hoping if the store that I usually go to doesn't have it. I'm hoping Trader Joe's does because Trader Joe's also sells some kosher stuff. So we shall see. And for those of you who don't know, I eat halal meat, but we're also permissible, or it's also permissible to have kosher meat since, yeah, it just is. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, gonna head to the grocery store. I'll see y'all when I get home. Just got home, have all my world market stuff. So I'm gonna squeeze into my office and show you guys what I got. Right, here she is. I'm thinking she can scoot right under here. Like so. What do you guys think? Like it just kind of tucks away in its own corner. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there, but I like it there for now. So I might like just move some things around. But she's cute. Let me bring her out so you guys can see her in all her glory. So it's this really beautiful marble and it is actually real marble, which is pretty great considering this was only $129. Um, it's made really well. Comparable ones at like CB2 or West Elm were like two to $300. So I feel like I got a pretty good bargain. And the gold matches with the gold on the rest of the stuff that I have. I have gold here, I also have gold on the desk legs over here, so I think it matches quite nicely. What I actually wanted it for, so I always do my makeup tutorials and videos and stuff here now, and before I would not really have a table over here to do the videos, but now I can move this here, and it fits like perfectly under my knees. I can put my mirror over here, which is actually perfect. It's at like the perfect height. And then I can put whatever products I need right in front of me over here. And then also if I decide to do work over here or maybe my assistant's over and she's doing work either on my desktop or vice versa, then someone, whoever's sitting on this couch can have a space to put the laptop and like to still do work over here too. So, it kind of worked out perfectly. She's really cute. I will link 
this below in case any of you guys are interested as well. I just need to now figure out what I'm gonna do with the pompous grass because that kind of gets in the way of everything. Unless I actually put the pompous grass on top of that one, this is not in use. So let me try that out and see how it looks. I'm just gonna leave the pompous grass right beside it here. All right, I am very happy with how all of that looks. I think it looks very, very cute and it's the perfect addition. Now, let me show you guys what else I got. I'm gonna need your guys' help because I still am getting a rug for this space, of course. Well, at least I think I am, I don't know, we'll see. But I saw this, which I was already thinking something like this would actually suit the space quite nicely. So yeah, I got this fuzzy faux like sheepskin rug. It's really, really beautiful. It's like that one that is at, at that is at Ikea, but this entire thing was only like $60 or 60 something. So it's quite large, but I figured it could be cute right at the base. I don't know if it kind of looks silly or what. I think it would be nice like just to have something to rest my feet on over here, but I don't know if it's just doing too much. So let me know, maybe if I move this in a little bit more, is that better? I don't know. Now it's just kind of looking a little tacky. She's gonna chill there for a couple days. I'm gonna try not to get her dirty. And maybe after I put all of the collage wall stuff up, then we can see the full picture and see if it's working. Something about it is just a little bit off to me. So I'm gonna need your help, yay or nay. And last but not least, I got just a lumbar cushion for my couch because I have this one over here, but I believe I've had this for so long. Like, I don't even know how long, but it's like clearly very dirty. So I thought this is kind of similar, but it has some color to it. So I thought it might look nice. It's also a little bit bigger, so I feel like it kind of fits the space a lot nicer. Let me know what you guys think of this. I think I kind of like it. Plus it... I mean, obviously I'm not always gonna have yellow flowers there, but I feel like the warmth of the pillow really matches with the warmth and all the wood that I have here. So let me turn on the light so y'all can see it a little bit better. But I think it works. I feel like it like fills the space out a little bit more and like makes it less bland, you know? This is what it looks like. I'll try linking it if I can find it on their website, but it's really beautiful. It has this like kind of shimmery fabric in it. This type thing, little tassels. That is everything that I got from World Market. I also got a ton of groceries because I'm making those kebabs that I told you guys about. Unfortunately though, I could not find um, halal or kosher chicken thighs. So I got chicken breast instead, which it'll obviously taste the same. It just won't have the same texture. I like chicken thighs because they're um, a little bit more tender, but chicken breast is healthier. So I guess you win some, you lose some. But I just got, you know, all the vegetables and everything that I need for the recipe. I got a crap ton more of this Faya yogurt because it was uh, $1 again. They had like 10 for 10, but you know, $1 each. So I literally got like nine or 10 of these. I'm not really sure. Um, and yeah, I think tonight I'm gonna have this. I picked this up in the kosher section as well. It's the chicken tenders, um, gluten-free chicken tenders. That's not why I bought it. It just looks really good. So I decided to pick it up. This is what it looks like. Make a little Caesar salad and have that for my dinner. I also just got some spices, um, like sumac. For whatever reason, I can't find sumac at like the regular grocery store. But the fact that, um, or the reason why I love World Market so much is they just have like random things from like all over the world, hence the name World Market. So I knew they'd have some muck, so I checked the spice section and they did. I was very happy about that. I need that for my recipe. I also just love some muck in general. I don't really know what it is, but it has a very like lemony flavor. Like even just thinking about it makes my mouth water. It's just so delicious. More spices here, so I got some ground turmeric. I can't remember if I had any. I really hope I didn't. I feel like my mom would have bought some though. Oh, I did. Damn. Okay, well, now I have more turmeric. That is pretty much the end of this video. I feel like this video is long enough, even though I feel like I didn't do much. I feel like we talked a lot and I brought you along <laughs> during my days. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll be sharing the like Mediterranean or just like spiced chicken kebab recipe and veggie kebab recipe. I'm actually really excited for it. I'm gonna start the marinade right now and start that video right now. So stay tuned and then you'll see Shat again and a couple other of our friends. It'll be a cute little vlog. I'm really excited for tomorrow actually. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe 
subscribe if you're new. I will link all the items that I did feature in this video down below. I know we reached 440K, really, really excited about that. Of course, as always, check the description box for donation links. Please take advantage of the month of Ramadan to give back in terms of charity and just share the wealth with the world. I will have a couple donation links, including the one for Syria, as well as for my hometown, Harar. I'm doing um, some fundraising for my hometown as well, just to help support the people there because unfortunately they are not capable of supporting themselves a lot of the time. So there is a foundation that's really near and dear to my heart that I'm trying to raise money for. And um, I will leave that link down below in case you guys are interested. So yeah, I love you guys. I said that a million times, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I will see you tomorrow for another episode of the Ramadan Daily. Bye everyone. Mwah.